What's up guys? So uh, today is actually a really good example of how to read a tide chart. And not only reading a tide chart, but then uh, going to Noah's uh, tide chart and then seeing what's actually happening in real time. Because today is only showing like a 4-8 tide, but the tides are running about a foot and a half over that. So you're really looking at a 6-3 today at around lunchtime. And uh, I, I'm gonna record my phone and kind of show you how I research it so that if anybody's looking to fish flood tides, this is so helpful because you wouldn't even think about fishing it today because it says 4.8, but there's gonna be water in the grass. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. All right guys, here we go. We're just gonna first check our tides. I use saltwatertide.com as you can see up there. I'm gonna go down to South Carolina, Folly Island. I use Apabula Creek. Use your own tides for wherever you fish. And it's gonna get a little blurry here, one second. And we're in May the 27th boom and then three days done get tides you'll see that um it's only showing three tides because i think uh last night's high tide was like at 11 59 or something like that so it actually showed up on tuesday but you'll see the low tide at 6 10 was 0.4 and the high tide at 12 19 supposed to be a 4.5 remember those numbers we'll come right back to them. All right, guys, here we are, back to our tides. We're gonna use NOAA's water levels in the Charleston Harbor. We'll refresh it real quick. Notice the big red block up top, NOAA's monitoring Tropical Storm Bertha. That is affecting tides today. Last night, high tide was supposed to be roughly a 5.7 and it came in at a seven foot, 1.3 foot over. Let's see here. The low tide today at 6.10, I told you it's supposed to be a 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, it came in at a 2.2, almost two feet higher. And as we climb, Look right now, it is as we're climbing to the high tide, it's currently reading a 3.15, this is real time, so it's about a mid tide, but it's 4.8 is the actual tide, so it's almost 1.7 over. So as you get closer to that 4.5 uh, high tide today, it's gonna be a 6.5, it's gonna flood. You need to add two feet to your tide charts today. Um, and so every time I go fishing, I look at the tide chart and I come back here to make sure that they, that they align. That's a huge difference, and that means it's going to flood today. All right, guys. Well, hopefully that was informative for you. Uh, I recorded it like 10 times, and I'm sure I left something out, and I'm over-recording it, to be honest with you. Uh, not from helping you guys. I just got frustrated trying to get all the information right. So if you have any questions, just hit me up in my DMs. I'll try to help you out, try to figure it out. But it's pretty simple. Check your tide charts. Check the NOAA buoy. And then um, you know, just make sure you know what's going on out there. Uh, I also like to type, I, I always know what's going on with the tides. One, because fishing, but two, safety. I mean, it, think about it the other way. Think if it was a negative and it was going, supposed to be a zero, zero low tide, but it's actually a negative 1.5 and you don't know that and you go out on the water, uh, it could affect you launching your boat. It could affect sandbars popping up. Uh, there's just safety reasons for it too. Uh, and I just like to know what's going on with the tides just every single day. Uh, later.